everyone. This is Jackie Cooper with J. Cooper Travels, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode and ask that you like and subscribe so that way you can always stay in touch with what we are talking about both uh, today as well as in the future. So I have a really special guest on all the way on the other side of the world, and I'm always excited when I have conversations with individuals. Um, that can share some really great insights with my listeners. Before we get started on our conversation, um, I just want to share a little background, especially if you're new to J. Cooper Travels. J. Cooper Travels is not just about where do we go around the world geographically, but also how do we travel in life. And that can include, you know, our personal inside journey, as well as our exterior journey in terms of our family, careers, or just anything in uh, dealing with ourselves individually. So my personal background is that I have um, an extensive uh, background in law as well as in education, and I'm also an entrepreneur. So I have um, I've navigated a lot of different um, journeys in terms of experiences because of the types of businesses that I've explored both successfully as well as unsuccessfully. And so that has brought a lot to the table in terms of how I decide on working on a project because of the passion that I have for certain areas. Um, so with that, I would like to um, welcome my guest, Amelia. And um, how are you doing today? I'm feeling very good. Thank you for inviting <laughs> me. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know you and I were having a conversation about what feeling good really is and what means. And so I'm glad that you are feeling good today because so yeah. many people today <laughs> have experienced COVID. So um, I'm happy that you're in good health right now. Two times winner. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and that's actually, you know, because of COVID, that's why I, I rebranded J. Cooper Travels because of the fact that we could not um, travel around the world. And that's actually, you know, it was a, a blessing in disguise because that's how I ended up connecting with more people, being able to share their stories and, um, and being able to have others connect and network as well. So go ahead and share with everyone more about um, your business and where you're located um, and what you do. And also for everyone who's listening, um, we're going to be mentioning how you can, you know, reach out and connect. But if you don't have paper and pen, don't worry. Just come back to this episode. All of the links will be in the blog below. And that way you can definitely um, make connection and, um, you know, ask the questions that you need to ask. So um, go ahead and introduce. Well, um, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me, for having me here. I'm really excited. I'm always excited to meet new people and to share my story and hope to hope that, you know, it will inspire someone to um, get going, to start on that, you know, thing that they have been wanting to start for a long time. So uh, my name is Amala and I come from Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is a small country in Europe. That's why you said across the pond. And um, and yeah, I mean, COVID really opened a lot of doors for entrepreneurs around the world to just share and um, share their experiences and just meet and um, meet new friends um, all over the world. So I'm really grateful for that part, but not the part where we lay down in bed for like two, <laughs> two or three days. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do um, uh, during the COVID, when once it started, um, I have three kids and I've been at home with them. And I was thinking about, you know, wanting to do something um, different. And so I decided to start my new venture, my new business. I have been in the PR world uh, for many years now. My background is um, journalism. I have a bachelor's degree in journalism. And um, I figured that I always love to uh, work with people. I love to serve people. I love to, you know, just communicate with a lot of people. And PR was kind of a natural way to go. And um, once I got into the freelancing world, I met a lot of podcasters. I met a lot of people that have had their own podcasts and that have been using podcasts as, 
you know, their way to source more leads, to grow their businesses, to just meet new people, create those relationships and um, just, you know, build that trust and authority um, in the online space. And I found that it was an amazing and remarkable way to just do that, to just grow your business. And I thought, okay, so why wouldn't I just be the person who will connect the two um, ends? So on the one end, we have the podcast host. And on the other hand, uh, and we have a podcast guest, the person who wants to talk about their business, who wants to share their story who wants to grow their business and get more, um, get more audience. And so I decided to start my own business without even knowing a thing about online businesses. I literally started with zero knowledge, but um, I decided to take that risk and just do it. And turns out it was a great decision (laughs) because now I serve a lot of clients. I serve, I've served a lot of clients and I hope to, you know, serve a lot more in the future where, um, where they share their message and where they, they grow their business through podcast guesting. That's really exciting. I, I do want to share with the the listeners, my dog is sitting below me. And uh, for some reason, sometimes she's been coughing. So if you hear her <laughs> cough on audio, it's neither one of us, it's my dog. <laughs> so <I> just, <laughs> it's a good thing that, that it coughs. <laughs> True, very true. Very he could true. be doing something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true, true. Um, but I just want to share. So um you what what kind of um made you excited about the the podcast world? I mean, you could have chosen any other media. So um as, you know, to help your clients. So why the the talk show side? Well, I discovered myself. I discovered podcasts um, during COVID and right before I started my own, my own business. And um, when I listened to, to a podcast, it made me feel so much more connected to the person that I'm listen to, listening to. Yeah. Um, comparing to, for example, TV show, when I watch TV, I don't feel that connection to the host nor the guest as much as I feel the connection when I listen to a podcast. And that's just because on TV, when you're on TV, you're you're like, as much as you want to be yourself, as much as you want to be authentic, there is one piece of you, one side of you that just needs to act like you're not yourself, right? So um, that needs to act like a different person. And that just gives away that unnatural feeling for me, at least. While on podcasts, I just feel that, you know, guests are, and and the hosts are being so themselves that they couldn't be more of themselves than they are. Right. And so um, the other thing that, you know, made me fall in love with um, podcasts is that it is so like versatile. Yes. You can listen to it like where whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, um, you literally can listen to it any place, any time. And that was the thing that made it for me. Like I was um, uh, about a half a year ago, I was traveling a lot, going to my dentist who was uh, about an hour drive from, from my place. And I was in my car for like two hours, at least a day. And I'm sure like a lot of people are spending that much time, not if not more in their cars and while going to, you know, going to work or traveling somewhere and having podcasts and having the ability to choose what I want to listen that day, instead of some radio station telling me what should I listen um, has really made my day because one day I feel like I want to listen to a spirituality show. Like one day I want to, I feel like I want to listen to a lot of marketing tips. One day I feel like I want to listen to a health episode. Right. And so it's so versatile and I always listen to it while I'm uh, cooking and I cook every day. Um, and while I'm cooking, it's like a lifesaver because it like it just sets the mood for, for everything. So 
that's why podcasting was my first choice, my main choice, and the only choice um, for, for my agency. Because although we are a PR, a PR agency, we focus only and exclusively on podcasts at the moment. And I agree with you, the podcast vehicle um, is very authentic in terms of when you're having a conversation with someone, you can ask any question um, within reason and you can, you know, you, and, and you can share about yourself as the, as the host, as well as, you know, as the guest and, um, and, and sometimes the conversations go in directions that you never anticipated because sometimes a thread of thought comes up and you just want to go with it. So you ask a question and then you have this philosophical discussion that wasn't planned. It's very spontaneous. And, and that's one of the reasons why I loved, you know, the talk show podcast format and also why I have four talk shows, you know, because each one has a different focus, but it also, um, it allows you to kind of explore different parts of yourself. So uh, for sure, um, we, what we haven't done is we haven't mentioned how people can contact you. How, how should people contact you? Yeah, so my website is um, urbanbloomboutique.com and I'm sure you'll put that in the chat box somewhere uh, in the show notes and they can also find me on Instagram it's anwa.shabich and also on my on Facebook I have a Facebook group where I share a lot of uh, free t- tips and tricks on how to get started on podcast guesting and what you need and, you know, everything about podcast guesting and how you can use it to grow your business. So um, if someone is thinking about um, using your services, um, are you looking for those that are experienced, um, you know, in being on shows, those that are not experienced? Um, what kind of businesses are you looking for? Who, who's your potential customer and, and how do you support them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, uh, we work exclusively with coaches and authors. Okay. And, um, and so when we are starting to, when we're kind of, when we get on a call with our potential clients, I, um, I always like to ask them because I think that there's a misconception, like a huge misconception in the online space where people think that they need to be experienced to go to be a guest on a podcast, or they think that they need to have their own podcast, or they need to, they think that they need to have like everything perfectly aligned, like their, their story their they need to be a good storyteller and, and, you know, what not. So I just want to say that that is all untrue because um, I've seen, I've seen like a lot of my clients haven't actually ever been on a podcast before meeting me and they have been amazing. They've, they, they've done an amazing, some amazing interviews and the hosts that I work with and the hosts that have them on, they're like, this is an amazing guest, like send me more of these, right? So, um, so they don't have to be experienced speaker. They don't even have, have to have their own podcast. If they do have a podcast, it makes it a lot easier for, uh, for them to get a yes, because a lot of the hosts are looking for swaps. So they always suggest like, um, are, is this client interested, um, in having a swap? Let's, let's do both interviews on my podcast and then on theirs. Uh, which is an amazing thing. And I always recommend for my clients to do that if they feel like it's aligned and it's a good fit. But otherwise, you don't have to have your own podcast. You don't have to have an experience, um, any kind of experience with with public speaking whatsoever. Um, It is all uh, learnable. You can can learn it. You can um, practice it. You can just... Uh, start by, by, by going on a podcast, uh, doing your first interview and just seeing that it's not a big deal. It's nothing special. It's just like you and me, like having uh, a coffee chat. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's like having a coffee chat with your acquaintance, just getting to know them a little bit better. Um, And so that's, that's all that there is. So yeah, you don't have to have an experience. You don't have to have your own podcast. And you just have to want it. (laughs) That's all. 
What about the location of the client? Do they have to be in a certain part of the world or are, are you like um, many others able to serve um, those at in any location? Because we all function online, because we're all online, it doesn't really matter where I am, nor where my clients are at, or where the hosts are at. It's, it's just a matter of, you know, aligning the time time zones, because there are a lot of, there can be a lot of time zones involved. So that can be a little difficult, but it's all always manageable. Um, but yeah, so we, we don't have like a, 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 um, a place where we have to be. Uh, we work with everyone, but all of our clients, current clients are based in, in the U.S. Um, but I have worked with people from Australia as well, from Europe. So it's, it's, you know, it's all around the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, why don't you go ahead and mention again um, your uh, contact uh, information. And, and like you mentioned, it will be in the blog below. Yeah. So it's, uh, urbanbloomboutique.com and my Instagram is Amala Shabich and my, uh, Facebook group, my Facebook page is also Amala Shabich. And then you can find my Facebook group through my Facebook page. That's awesome. Um, so I always have on J. Cooper Travels a one tip in one place. And the tip is a takeaway uh, that listeners can think about. Um, and the place is a place to discover as we uh, start our travels again. So what would you like to do first, the tip or the place? Yeah, let's go with the tip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's the tip that you would suggest that listeners think about as they are, um, you know, walking away from our show? Yeah, well, I guess, you know, it's it, it's only natural that I talk about and give them a tip about podcast guesting because yeah. I feel like it's the strongest marketing strategy you can have in place, especially in the 2022, because um, in the past two years, podcast industry has literally exploded and everyone has a podcast and there are millions of podcasts out there. And there are so many categories and so many topics. There's literally no topic that you couldn't find that there is a podcast on. So, um, so yeah, my tip would be just try to use podcast guesting. Um, if not your uh, main marketing strategy, then just implement it into your marketing strategy and just try to have and stick to at least two podcasts a month. Uh, that will make it you know, I, I place my clients on four podcasts a month, uh, sometimes even more, because we feel like, you know, it, it's important to keep that momentum. Once we get into that flow, it's, it's just important to keep that, to be consistent and to just show up regularly. But, um, but two podcasts a month are all also a great idea. Even a, a, a podcast a month is a great idea, as long as you just stick to it and do it. And you will see your return on investment very, very soon. I, I agree with you that um, being on, I've met many people who have been on my show and I welcome anyone to also contact me for any of my shows, which I'll talk about in a second, because it, it also provides a vehicle for you to share, like you said, your story and um, you know, the, how you can help others, you know, the networking that we can do. And um, so what about the place? Well, the place, I am really biased because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everyone's biased when it comes to their hometown. So yeah, my hometown, it's a small, small town called Gratonica and it's a beautiful town. Um, but, you know, visiting the capital of Bosnia, Sarajevo is also a great idea. And uh, a big tip, like a bonus tip, is to try chavapi, which is a uh, traditional Bosnian meal. Uh, it's like a minced meat uh, rolled into these tiny, like, um, like, like it, it looks like a finger. And it's made from minced meat and it's grilled. And it's served in a pita. Uh, like a, I'm not sure if if I said it yeah. correctly. Yeah, if you, you know did. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So it's a pita. It's served in a pita, and it's also grilled. So it's really, really amazing. And it's it's sometimes people eat it with onions, and um, some people eat it with yogurt. But it's it's a must. It's a definitely a must. 
<laughs> well, I um, I've added Bosnia to and your town to my wish list of travel places. Um, I know that my next trip in the summertime is to Dubai, but again, as the world is opening up, I'm going to be adding more countries to my list, and I hope to both um, you know visit and meet you in person as well as you know again. Um, through our online presence. Um, so I can feel my dog is getting a little excited down here. So she might be hopping up into the video if she, and she's now joining us. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and mention again um, your contact information while I give her a pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely. Um, so people can reach me on my my website, which I have done, um, which is live from, you know, about seven days ago. And um, it's urbanbloomboutique.com. And then um, they can find me on, on my Instagram, which is amala.shabich, and also my Facebook page, Amala Shabich, where they can find my Facebook group, where I share a lot of free trip tricks and tips on how to get started on podcast guesting. So um, I, I definitely recommend that everyone um, think about using, you know, the services that we talked about today, because again, as, if you're not comfortable reaching out on your own, it really does help to have someone who's a professional who can actually make those Entry, you know, entry points for you who can pitch you, you know, who can share your, your strengths. Um, it's, it sort of is like having a manager, you know, entertainers need managers to, to speak on their behalfs. And so, you know, having someone, you know, talk on your behalf, again, it, it makes it e definitely easier. Um, for those of you that, you know, don't, think about the type of um, shows that are out there. I mean, my show, Jay Cooper Travels, talks about, you know, our personal journeys, but I also have Crypto Mom 2, which is about my journey in the blockchain and crypto space. So there's that, which is totally different than the travel side. And then I have Love Travel Scotland because of my connection with Scotland with a friend of mine. So again, um, having a professional help you will kind of navigate through, you know, just like you said, there's so many different talk shows out there. So to decide, well, what show should I be on? That's my fit. That's why you you know, it is important to kind of have someone help you because there's a lot of different conversations that can be had. And, you know, depending upon your book and everything, or your, if you're a coach, there are different talk shows that might have different twists and turns. So you might not normally know about that that show could actually be good for you because you might just from the title might not know that that show actually has a whole conversation flow that would actually have an audience for you. Um, because my audience is very diverse and, you know, I have coaches, I have small businesses, I have individuals, families, you, you name it. I mean, the category, it's hard to sometimes categorize. So I definitely appreciate what you're doing because um, it, it allows people to um, spend time on their passion instead of, you know, thinking about the marketing side, because that also as a small business owner, um, sometimes that's the challenge that individuals have is that they have to think about what do I put time into and to do the research that you've already done um, just makes sense to have them use you because then if they can continue to do what they love to do, which is the writing or the coaching or whatever their business might be. So any um, last minute thoughts that you'd like to share with our listeners? No, I just want to tell them that, you know, having imposter syndrome come up is very, very uh, usual thing, especially for people who are just starting out as a public speaker. So if it appears, just kick it in the butt and say, like, I got this and just do it. So, yeah. So my advice would be just start start pitching yourself, start get, getting yourself on podcast and getting your name and message out there. Yeah. And and the, the one last thing that I will mention is definitely reach out, you know, use um, all the resources that you can. Um, Amla's, you know, company is definitely some a company that you should at least reach out and connect with her to um, see if this is a, a great fit for you guys. 
Um, again, unless you uh, either send that email or pick up that phone, you never know. And, and that's the one thing that I've learned over the past few years with, you know, the situation with COVID and the Zooms and the conversations. I've met so many wonderful people um, just by sending an email saying, let's connect. And, um, you know, it's opened up a lot of doors. So again, uh, for those that are, are listening, definitely like and subscribe. And I know that we're going to be having many more conversations. So I look forward to them all. Uh, thank you so much for being on. And everyone, be kind to yourself, be kind to um, others. And we're all one world. And let's stay connected. Talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone.